Welcome back everyone. Moving on to another word problem dealing with exponential functions. So let's say you bought a computer for $2,000 and its value after t years is modeled by that function right there. So v of t is equal to 2000 times 0 0.82 to the power t. Two questions. What is the rate of decay and in how many years will the computer lose 80% of its value? Well, in general, as we've said before, we know the final value of something is equal to what? The initial value times 1 plus r to the power of t. And then this r here in brackets is the rate of growth or the rate of decay. So if we take the equation that we have, let's put it right under the general equation, Well, notice that this bracket here corresponds with that bracket. So basically, 1 plus r has to equal 0 0.82. And when we solve for that r here, that will give us the rate of decay. So r would be 0 0.82 minus 1, which would give us 0 0.18, right? Or, um, sorry, this would be negative 0 0.18. So that would be negative 18%. So that there is your rate of decay, right? The computer is losing 18% of its value every year. And then the second part of the question asks, how many years will it lose 80% of its value? Well, initially, computer is valued at $2,000, right? That's the initial value. So 80% of 2,000 is going to be what? If we take 2,000 multiplied by 0 0.8, that would give us 1,600. Which means if it loses 80% of its value, only 20% is going to be left. So 20% of 2,000 is 400. 0 0.2 times 2,000 gives us 400. So basically, the second part of the question is asking, when will the computer be valued at $400, right? Because it lost 80% of its value, right? So only 20% is remaining. The way we do that is we just take 400 and we make it equal to this part of the equation. So 2,000 times 0 0.8 2 to the power of t, right? So in this case, we're going to be solving for the t value, right? Because we know what the value um, that we're dealing with is. It's $400. We're trying to figure out how many years is it going to take to go from $2,000 to $400. So to isolate for that t, basically we divide both sides by 2,000. Want to get rid of that 2,000 in front, so divide the left side by 2,000 as well. 400 divided by 2,000 gives us 0 0.2. This cancels out, so we're just going to be left with 0 0.82t. And if you remember from previous videos, when you're solving for a variable in the exponent, you could just log both sides. So basically, the t value would be log of 0 0.2 over log of 0 0.82, right? In general, again, if you got a to the x is equal to b and you want to isolate for the x, x is just equal to log b over log a, right? So we applied this formula here to solve for that t value. Here we were isolating for the x, here we're isolating for the t in the exponent. So you would just plug that in the calculator and that would give you the t value, the number of years. And when you do that calculation, you end up getting 8.11 years. So that is the answer. That's how long it takes for the computer to lose 80% of its value. And you could check your answer. You could take that figure 8.11, plug it in for t, and the value that you get should be 400.